guys so today finally is the episode of my neighborhood where I used to live when I was here in Miami and where I'm staying right now for the next three months it is called Brickle and I'm gonna show you two highlights that I love here in Brickle and this is where I live right now I love it I love the nature well, there's too much noise now because of the planes are passing by. So if you want to see these beautiful highlights that I'm about to show you here in Brickle, keep watching my video until the end. So this is Brickle. And most of the buildings that you are about to see were built in the 80s. And some of them, like this ones, are... 2004 and 2008 and some are very new from 2010 and up I moved to Miami in 2008 and I moved here in Brickle and it was quite empty it was just a few buildings a few coffee place I think it was just one Starbucks and then after four years it just blow it just grows so much so many restaurants so many hotels so many little cafes to study and to hang out it became amazing is the city's financial center with business towers and luxury apartments over Biscayne Bay. Rooftop bars and restaurants cater to the banking and the business crowd, while the art galleries and fashionable boutiques in the Brickell city center attract chic locals. And now I want to show you my local church where I used to come when I live in Miami. And the one that I still use when I still come to Miami to visit my family is right here to my right. So this is my beautiful neighborhood and this is where I come for a run and I love this run because it's right next to the water and I love being next to the ocean. And right there is the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. I hope I do the tour of that hotel very soon for you guys to see. It is located right inside of my Brickell was settled in the modern era in the mid-19th century by the early pioneers, growing to become Miami's millionaire row in the early 20th century after the construction of lavish mansions all along Brickell Avenue. By the 1970s, office towers, hotels, and apartments began replacing the historic mansions. Brickell overtook the city's historic central business district and now is one of the largest financial districts in the United States. Right here is the entrance of Brickell Key, where the Mandarin Oriental is, and you have all this beautiful view. I don't feel like walking all the way in there. <laughs> that will be maybe later on, but you can see it from here. Oh, but there's something beautiful that I want to see. That I want to see over there. There is an iguana family, entire. Fa
walk-up windows sell Cuban coffee like the one I just showed you with my friends. On Calle 8, locals discuss politics over dominoes at Maximo Gomez Park, which is the park I wanted to show you so bad, but it's closed. The historic Tower Theater screens amazing independent films, while the area's clubs host live Latin music. This is the oldest cinema here in Little Havana. It is also closed due to the circumstances that we are going through, that the entire world is going through. I want to show you my friends. Are you guys behaving? Yes. yes? <laughs> Pero siempre que las voy a mostrar se corre el tendito parato. Love you girls. Thank you for walking with me. Oh. For my friends. One is from Dominican Republic, the other one is from LA, and I took them to walk Calle Ocho. 